Hi, this is Connie from Thrifty Gal Collectibles. I just wanted to show some of the stuff that I happened to pick up yesterday at some really cool yard sales that were on a Thursday and not the weekend. But here we go. I found this really cute wicker purse. Very adorable, very retro. And also I picked up this milk box which is actually not the regular size and can be hung on the wall because it has clips on the back so that was kind of unique so that will probably go in my booth at the old factory on Hummels in Hummels town and over here I picked up this nifty vice for the man cave and funnel and a nice little table small perfect for a porch and uh, cool drying rack has a great color it's missing a rack a rung but that's okay people will want that anyways I uh, picked up a nice box actually it's not a box it's a drawer but you know people use these drawers now for Dividers and they can you can hang them on the wall and make shelves out of them and it's made out of oak So it's pretty heavy Also picked up three very cool older style Pennsylvania License plates There's that one And then these two And um, Well one is from 58. It's a truck plate. That's a cool one And that one from I don't know that was a newer one. Down here I have a small wood, small wood sewing box. It's so cute. So I have a bunch of sewing things and I'll fill that up and take it down to my booth at the old factory. And Costco stools, those are always great. People are always looking for them. Never pass them up when you see them. Um, this cool retro Borg scale, and it works, but I'm not gonna tell you how much it weighs. <laughs> but it's uh, pretty retro looking. There it says, not for le not legal for trade. Um, set of three of uh, five plastic Christmas ornaments with Santas and bells. They are really adorable. So um, those will go down there. Maybe I'll put them online. I haven't decided, but this definitely. <laughs> I saw this and couldn't let it go. Retro contact paper in lovely browns and oranges, <laughs> yellow. Um, I like the advertisement. It's decorative coverings to brighten your home. Probably from the 70s bit left on the roll too. The ends are a little messed up, but not I think it could be used if you were, you know, doing small products and that sort of thing. Um, I also picked up this really cool basket. I have a bunch of baskets that I, I'm gonna put together for a basket wall, wall hangings, and this is a nice woven wicker basket. Kind of big too, so we'll see. And then I picked up this cute little loom with the wood <laughs> and somebody had uh, started it already ever or easy weave pin frame in the original box and project also uh, everybody loves these homco or home interiors plastic butterflies they're gonna go on in my Etsy store once I get them separated a nice older jet glass jar doesn't have a lid. And the letter C for Connie. <laughs> oh, I love this too. A nice retro, pardon the light. There's a retro frame with retro people in it. Um, double frame with, you know, the antique gold looking metal. And uh, last but not least are these few things. I picked up this wig 
box. It's really cool. It has a plastic hanger and there's a, it zippers around and it's kind of tall. It's about, I don't know, 24 inches tall. Um, a wicker light that hangs. That'd be great for a porch. Uh, of course, you know, Pyrex. Always, always, always find Pyrex when they mount. So there's a nice yellow 404 bowl and wooden hangers that'll go in my Etsy shop. And, uh, oh, these are for Halloween, which I just dug out not too long ago. I didn't get these yesterday, but I've had them now. There's my lovely clown light that hasn't made it to the old factory yet, but soon. <laughs> so these are some of the things that I got yesterday and we'll be getting them listed and getting them to my booth and thank you for watching and please subscribe if you like this and everybody have a nice day thank you